Welcome viewers, this is Dex of the Black Pants Legion. Now you may realize there's no video and only audio here. That's fine, nothing is broken. Quit hitting refresh. Stop it. Now, this is an interview. Why? Because I had this idea. I've spoken with admins of Space Station 13 before, and they're notoriously antisocial types who generally don't like to talk with or at people for prolonged periods of time, as they are judge, jury, and executioner on a server and can't be seen demonstrating favoritism, at least in theory anyways. Here's how this works. I'm putting out an open call to any and all Space Station 13 admins on any public listed servers. This call is here, so answer it. If you're interested in answering or participating in an interview about Space Station 13, its history, and your server, please respond. I'll try to get to you and we can set something up. That being said, this is an interview for, with a Space Station 13 admin. The questions are largely freeform, and the discussion does not reflect the exact policy of the server unless stated otherwise by the person I'm interviewing. The reason I say this is I want to encourage an admin to be frank, honest, and open about their experiences without worrying that they're shitting on the server or to prevent them from being yelled at for representing a server community in a bad way. This is a point of view and not, I repeat, not an absolute definition of doctrine on said server. So, disclaimer aside, that being said, welcome to our first interviewer. Please, internet person, tell me your name, you wish to go by, your server, and your admin rank. Hello there, I am Rumi Lunti. I am a senior admin on the Paradise server. Yeah, that one. Paradise. Alright, so, tell me about your server. Well, it's a kind of a easy to get server, like... You are new to the game, we actually have mentors, you can ask questions, and, well, it's like easy to play server. Basically. Okay. <laughs> you are easy, it's like easy to get in. Alright, so it's a good and starter we, server. We, yeah, we try to maintain a, like, friendly environment and such, so it's not like a shithole where everyone calls each other faggots and niggas. Okay. Now, tell me, why are you an admin on said server? What made you volunteer your time there? Well, I was playing for like a year or so, and I decided that, well, maybe I can do something for the server. Then I just applied to be a mentor. The guys that actually read Wikipedia and respond to your questions. Hmm, that's cool. So then, I, then I became a mentor, and then it was like a few months, and they realized that they actually need admins. So they just picked some of the mentors and asked if you want to be an admin, because we need them. I understand that. So, what is the hardest part of being an admin on your server? Well, we have Kraytide. Lots and lots of Kraytide. Because, well, we are the most populated server, usually. So, when people join the game for, like, the first time, well, they might have, like, never actually played any, like, role-playing game. And, well, Space Station 13 is a complete piece of shit game unless you actually role-play it. Because there's not like that much of a like interesting gameplay unless you play your role. So people come to your server because it's on the top. Yeah, I just click on that. Look fucking cool. And then they come to the server. They have no fucking idea what they are doing. What are the rules? Well, I didn't read. They just come in and start shitting everything up. I understand that. So, I mean, yeah, it's, yeah. You guys hit it's like what 170 time. last week. Yeah, something like that. It was, it was a mess. But well, admin team held. That's good. You held the line. Yeah, it was so, like a fucking flat gate. So, what are the greatest challenges you've ever faced as an admin? Well, maybe to be like actually just. You always have to think like, uh, if this guy is doing this just to be a shit lord, or if he just has no idea what he's doing, and like you need to balance that. Like, if this guy, if this guy's fun is taking fun away from someone else, like, is it is it really what we're after? Like, you need to be just, but you also need to be kind of harsh, and you need to be ready to like step in and be like, knock it off, you are being an asshole. All right, what do you think are the greatest problems with Space Station Thirteen today, or at least on your server? Well, it might just be that the game is not easy. So when people come in, they play for a while, and they might, might get frustrated because some of the nerds have played this for ages and they know everything. 
and then you come and you are a complete noob and you have no idea what the fuck you are doing and everyone is just yelling at you because you are not doing everything optimally and i don't think that's like the main focus of the game doing everything like optimally or anything just having fun and playing the game but yeah i think that's one of the biggest things that like actually become a problem later on because when you get frustrated about the game you just stop caring i understand that so you're saying it's kind of that balance of people who have been there forever who just want to play it optimally and they don't give a shit about role playing they're just about efficiency then there's people who come in who are interested because of watching videos or hearing about role playing and so on but they can't do the job well and they, there's kind of a problem between that and frustration yeah yeah, when you have the right intent but not the knowledge, then yeah. it's like it's a very hard place to be because yeah, there are people that just run into science and finish it in fifteen minutes and then start to shit everything up and be fucking killable. Yeah. And then there are people that just want to like role play and have fun. How the fuck do you balance that? <laughs> Fair point. Now, here's the next question. How do you combat special snowflakes? I ridicule them to death. Like, if someone is being so, like, snowflakey and so stupid that it's like, you cringe when you look at it and, like, look how they act. I like, Jesus fucking Christ. Why? Yeah. I, I'm not, like, directly banning them for it or anything. I'm just like, ah, why? Okay, what why is your... You yeah, I mean, what what is your opinion on people who play on your server and record, or those who stream? Uh, we have a rule that you need to have like fifteen minutes of like delay on your streams, just because people can meta gain from it and such. And like, well, if you have the stream open, you get like another person view and see everything they see. But if there's a fifteen minute of delay, that doesn't really matter. Okay. But yeah, every, everyone is free to do videos and such, but only streaming has this like minor role. What is your opinion, though, on the impact that has on a server? Like well, bringing I, people to it that may not be so great. Well, if someone just does a griefing video and shows how to grief, then we just like have to praise ourselves because the great light is going to come and try to do it all the time but if someone does a video and just plays around or two, it doesn't really matter alright because I know some admins don't like it when people record because they feel that that's like lifting the rock they live under and showing the internet their little secret place and it'll never be the same because of that exposure and other people welcome it because they say but we're ready to deal with it yeah well you are welcome to paradise unless you are a complete shitter Okay. What do you think makes a good admin good? Well, as long as the massive admin panel doesn't go into your head and you start to be an abusing asshole. And as long as you put the fun of the player in front of the fun of yourself, you should never do anything just to abuse yourself. All right. What makes a bad admin bad? Well, if they use the admin panel just to be a complete dick, and if they keep their favorites and like, kind of like <laughs> let their friends do whatever and that kind of shit, that really kills the server fast. If, if even if one of them is like that, that really kills the server. On the nature of balance, because I've heard this discussed by many admins before, on the nature of balance between shit curity and gray tide. What's your opinion on how to maintain said balance? Well, uh, in the perfect world, no one would be a dick. But, well, someone is going to be the dick, always. So, I do not, like, allow people to be shit curated. Because that's just shit. Because you have a role that has, like, the power to take someone from a round completely. And the fucking round can take two hours. If you abuse that role just for your own amusement, to take people away from the round for no reason at all, I am going to ban you from that role. 
but if you are a complete piece of shit that just picks the great at roles just to be an asshole and do nothing at all but run around and fucking whack people with crowbars and rip off floor tiles and hack everywhere and steal shit, I'm going to like hammer you down. All right. On well, speaking of security and the Great Tide, here's a two-part question. Um, one, if you see security going on, like let's say um, there's somebody who says, like happened in one of my playthroughs, you know, car goes up to no good, and they arrest everyone in cargo and detain them without, you know, any cause other than I saw somebody with something they shouldn't have. How would you address that as an admin? Well, I would probably ask them, like, what the fuck is going on, and why, and who gave the order, and what, what actually went on, and, like, how did it escalate into this kind of a clusterfuck? And, like, why do you think this is a reasonable way to do anything? All right, so mild intervention behind the scenes just to figure out how they approach that. Yeah, I, I like to, like, guide people towards the, like, better gameplay. And like to not be shit. Because I understand not everyone that. Everyone actually like understands when they are being a shit, and that there's a better way of doing things. It's Sometimes admirable. you just need to like, like stop them and like make them think a little. Of, like, do you like really realize what you are doing? Is is that like hunting the ant actually really so fucking important? You have to like stop an entire department and like search them all because someone had a power fist. Well, yeah, I mean, some of those power fists are completely legitimate for security reasons. Hail Cargonia. <laughs> <laughs> um, how do you handle how do you handle great titers? Like, the people who have been an assistant for three, four years, and all they do is go get the insulated gloves, steal things, hack all the time. Well, I usually, like, if they are being complete shits with it. I'd like, I don't mind if people just play civilian just don't not have anything to worry about. It's if they actually be shit with it. They have freedom. It's about how they use that freedom. It it doesn't matter who it is. If it's a civilian, if it's a engineer being a shit, it doesn't really matter to me. And I don't care if you've been here for like two days or five years. I I don't really like give a shit. If you are being a shit, I will stop you. Okay. In your opinion, what is the Best AI law set. Oh, that's that's a hard one. Yeah. That's why I chose it, because I'm a dick. I think the basic Asimov or Crucimov, as we have on Paradise, because we have all manner of fucked up places, uh, is one of the funniest things, because it creates an interesting situation with Antax. Because if an antagonist is a human, or, well, crew member, as in Crucimo laws it, and a security board, for instance, arrests them, then they order the security board to release them. What does the board do? Yeah. It's always, it's always funny to see that happen, like, hey, 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 security board, op open this captain's office for me. Um, I'm not really sure, law to... Yeah, that's that's pretty nuts, but that is interesting. Now this kind of leads into the next one. What is the best traitor you have ever seen as an admin? Well, hmm. we have had so many of these guys that basically delete the whole fucking station with bombs and all kind of shit, and it has gotten like very much easier after we ported the goof cam. And you can make Gibbs smoke and just obliterate everything. But the funniest guy I have like ever seen being a traitor was when a guy uploaded a law to the AI saying just uh, this and this person always speaks the truth. So the AI, I was actually the AI, but it was so fucking funny to me. I might be a little bit biased about this but it was just funny because I just followed the guy around and like had a little note about everything that he says so in the end of the round I had a huge list of shit 
that like was absolute truth to me and it caused some problems such as well he said that uh, uh, the kitchen smells like shit for instance and he didn't actually like I don't think he understood that I am listening him all the time. So he just kept playing around like nothing's going on and went to get his like objectives because he told me that this door needs to be open. So I opened it because of course it needs to be the law say so and such. And then he just kind of forgot about it. And well, when you start to like list all kinds of shit that people say in a round, and start to like think of think of them as the absolute truths. It starts to get messy. I can and, imagine. And yeah, when a, he was actually arrested for a while, for some reason, Beepski must have gotten him or something. I can't actually remember. It's been a while. He said that, uh, well, security should choke in plasma. <laughs> and yeah, you can imagine what happened. Yeah, that sounds insane, but also awesome. Yeah, it, it was bad shit. All right, what is the worst antag you've ever seen? Well, it could be just those guys that just r- rush for the green text and like don't say a word in the entire round and just go to get the green text. Like they're so so boring and such and well. The worst offenders have been the wizards in the past. We actually removed the wizard objectives. Their only objective is to cause havoc. But the, when a wizard has a objective to kill the captain and steal something, they teleport in, give the captain, oh, objective one done. Then they teleport to the next place, steal the shit, oh, objective two gone. What do they do now? Go hide in a fucking closet. Yeah, that sounds a little bit yeah. annoying. Yeah, that that was like bullshit. All right, the last question of the interview that I think uh, I want to ask is, what sort of player is the best for your station? And who doesn't really fit on your station? Just giving you the room to kind of say, here's who we look for in a player base, and here's where you should get the fuck out. Well, if you cannot have fun without being an antak or killing someone, then you shouldn't even play this game at all. But I, I don't think this game has what you need. Understood. Understood. All right. Well, anyways, thank you for giving the interview. And uh, like I said, in, any other admins out there want to give a little walkthrough on their station, go through the same questions and give some answers, just let me know. And uh, if you want to play on Paradise, they're on the hub, right? Yep, we are the hub. They should be number Welcome. one on it, actually, I think. Usually, yes. Huge population server. Uh, a lot of fun can be had there, so check them out. And behave. Everyone out read there, behave. The fucking, read the rules before you play, please. Yeah, read the fucking rules, or the Finnish guy's gonna get you. Perkele! Yeah, Torilla Tavata. Yeah, whatever that was. <laughs>